I really never had a chance to come to this, but finally, this is just a clan battle, by the way. I'm actually gonna show off the double combo or team combo. So if someone else has a combo and you're next to that person that's also next to an enemy, you got a combo and you're both gonna and he's gonna start flashing. When he starts flashing, that means you can do a combo. So let's see what it looks like. Wow. Well, that's all I wanted to show you. Back to the episode. What's up, guys? This is Mr. Onzo Kuzi. Welcome you back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. So, in the last episode, we're basically just a bunch of fugitives now that are trying to ruin King Mute's, well, not King, but Prince Mute's world. So, anyway, I turned March into a thief, you didn't notice that. So, you can just find some thief ability so you can steal some stuff. And then, once I get that certain sword. I turn it back to a ninja, so I can get the thing in my bobber, double sword. Then I'll turn into a soldier, and everyone's somewhat happy. But I digress. So, are you about the mission? If they don't disturb me, let's put over there. Crap, I'll be right back. God, I plan dips like my rival. They won't leave me alone. Alright, well. Now that you messed with fire up. But yeah, I changed Horus back to a black mage. So he can learn all the um stuff the mob link learned. So he can just be a replacement mob link. Yeah, alright. So we're gonna be heading over to the Nari Guy Cave again, without being interrupted, to do Pale of Company. Before I do that, wait, how do I check stuff I have? Items. You want to make sure you have a lot of potions here for this one, or at least a couple high and X potions. The hell are you? It's a ghost! What are we doing in a cave like this anyway? It's like... What are we doing here? No. No, please. N not this crap again. I would scream, but it's like... 10.40. So I'm probably gonna get like, yelled at by someone. But whatever. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa, hey, hey, yo. What's up? Okay. New shooter. No one but my master may approach the wall thread. I can't destroy that crystal. Or the wall thread, or whatever you call it. And I'm not leaving until I do. Okay, March. Oh, dang. I'm to do Tama Adram Malek. By my strength, I shall defeat the world thread and destroy all those who seek to harm it. Alright. So, Adram Malek. You actually want to remember him for later, because he's in Final Fantasy XII. Yes, he's in Final Fantasy XII. So anyway, well actually... Ah, so close. Alright, but anyway... This fight... It's... Actually pretty hard. If you don't know what you're doing... Like, when I was test recording, I was extremely tired. Well, I went to go get some water, now I'm not tired anymore. So basically, you want to be pretty focused, because if you go in the wrong spot, like I did when I was test recording, you're pretty much just saying, screw yourself. But we're not going to go on the offensive just quick, quick. 
Oh. Let's see. Wait, what are the blocks? No healing. No defense. Wait, can I, can I change that? Wow. Wow. Alright, healing. Yeah, your only main concern is our Dremelec. I mean, I would go for him first, but you know, where's the fun in that? Just like, going straight for the boss. If I have to go to drastic measures, then I'm probably gonna have to do some stuff around, but, um... I'm gonna wanna bind all three of those. Drag them in place so they can't come together. Cause like I said, one wrong move, and basically you're done. Well, you're not screwed, screwed, but depending on what your situation is. Alright, just take Marsh's place. Just wait. Marsh, can you start doing damage right now? Oh, sweet. That's not on him. How much do I have on him? Nothing. Alright. It probably said zero damage because since I was doing a fire base attack. Alright, whatever. MP damage. Alright, so I'm probably gonna want to get Shell and protect on those three. Because those three are gonna be doing most of the stuff. Wait, I never learned Shell. Holy crap. Well. Awkward. Well then. Then I guess I'm gonna be just protect for now. How are you trying to play, bitch? See, this is what I hate when the laws, like, affect you. Thank God. Because, like, saying you can't heal, so basically I have to, like, clutch this somehow. I don't know how, but I'm probably going to want to slow that guy down. Well, we're all lined up. That's not good. Get him, get him. Yes! Awesome. Booyah! Yeah, we should probably start forming this line. Alright, let's uh... Let's go right here. Damn, only fire sword. Wait, wait. Ah. Good enough damage. Got the yellow one. No, 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 I got the yellow one. I don't wanna I wanna risk this, come on. 
Yes. All right. One down. Two to go. Well, basically three to go since our drama luck. We're gonna die summoning. That's weird. Normally later he's gonna do this one move where it's like a straight up vertical line or horizontal attack, whichever direction. And it's it can actually pretty it's actually pretty painful. And he has this one move that's like a death type attack, which can like finish you off in like a heartbeat. It's like just pray it won't happen to you and just you'll live. Alright, it's two. Hey, I found a Korra on the ground. Korra. Alright. Now we just gotta do is get rid of that one. And then... We're all set for a little bit. Not lunch deck. I guess March and him will start attacking. Yeah, I guess March and Tavin will start attacking our drama like. So start using spell attacks and crap. Like, the sound animation for Fire Sword sounds so deadly, like, it just sounds like a scythe just coming to a... something. I don't know why I'm attacking you. Actually... Trick, bitch. Damn, very good. It's a good against a drama like. Alright, well, let's go run. Let's burn this one. Alright, well, all the minions are gone. I really want to say it. Actually, nah, 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 I'm not going to say it. Never mind, 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 never mind. Just going to go block him in we can. I think he can fly. Dang, he has a small radius shit. Oh no, just MP damage, I don't care. Damn. Well, basically we don't need the mages anymore. Well, except for probably Ziggy and Tiffany. Can I get you with water from over here? Damn. Faded away. Let's see if we can get you with the. Uh, let's see if we can slow you down. Basically, bosses like this have like a hundred percent resistance to everything, so the chance of it working. Yep, I knew it. Maybe with a shot, somewhat nay for effort. We just light him up with whatever we have. Um, can we bind him? I mean, at least for like some enemies, they have like resistance to some stuff, but like compared to like game dungeon defenders the resistance is high so high I swear it's not funny oh, I'm, that, that's, that, that, that's not even cool man I swear it's lame Let's go on top here. Ashi. 
say March should do the damaging. You just chill. There it is. Well, the one move I was talking about with the little like slash tag. And you missed! It's Gucci! Who the hell even says that anymore, I swear? Don't come over here! Oh, whatever. Now I can check if you're like... It's acceptable to any of these techniques. Okay, that would do high damage. How would it do to you? Damn. How about you? Well, everyone makes sacrifices in life to make stuff for the better. Yeah, I'm probably going to be doing that a lot, too. I'm probably going to make a lot of sacrifices in games like this. Alright, now stuff should be coming to an end. <clears throat> Let's finish it off with a flip rain. A jelly-looking ball of water. Alright. Mission cleared. I said mission cleared. The hell. Dialogue. <clears throat> you little ghost disappearing. That ghost must have been become part of the crystal's power. I heard that the crystals were pure magic, but now I think there's something more. Some kind of incredible power that could create the Tartama and all the different races. Alright, well, we destroyed another crystal. Are we finished? <coughs> but, boss, you again! Uh-oh. Babis. The air here has changed. What have you done? Acting against the prince's wishes again? Are you? Ma mama where are you? Mama, where? <laughs> Pussy. Again? What? A seam. It must have been left over. Been left over again. Babis, Prince Mute. Where's everybody? I'm lonely. Where are you, Babis? The prince is looking for me. Well, I should have said that with a more questionable tone. Ah, oh, my neckers. Let us say that you're all right, and there are two worlds. How much, then, is this other world worse to you? What do you have that you do not have here? Money? Power? Something worth causing the prince so much pain for? Well, I... What? Nothing? You could... You would make the prince suffer over nothing? I must return. The prince needs me, we'll meet again. And the next time, I will not be so forgiving. Someone thinks they're cool they can teleport. Mute. I... <sighs> ah, my back and my neck hurts. Added to Banga to Tama. Cool. Alright, we got all this stuff and money. Yay! Awesome. Cool. Yes. Alright. Climb leveled up. Got some skills. Uh, I want slow though. Alright, that's all I need. And we got a new area. Bagaba Port. So let's just put it. Yeah. So I'm going to check if those areas have treasures, and I'm going to conclude the episode here, so...
This is Mr. Renzo Kuzin, signing off. Leave a comment, please subscribe. See ya.